So here's we had the ST booth, and this is an ARM Cortex M7. This is a really high performance Cortex M series processor. So hello. So who are you? Hello. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Frederick Lecam. I'm the product line marketing manager for the STM32 F7. This device is uh, embedding a Cortex M7 core, which can run up to. Uh, uh, 200 megahertz, and it can deliver up to, to a thousand core marks of CPU computation capability. So this is a big jump from Cortex M4, no? Yeah, absolutely. So the Cortex M, the STM32 F7 with the Cortex M7 core inside has a jump in the frequency and has also uh, an architecture enhancement, like the bus interface is optimized to make the device to go faster and to execute code at a faster speed. So it's a better architecture, it's, optim it's newer, yes. it's, it's, a, it's a improved. Yeah, improved architecture, despite the fact that uh, the instruction set between Cortex M4 and Cortex M7 are very equivalent. The architecture, the bus interface are very, di are very different and the M7 is providing more DMIPS uh, per megahertz because of that architecture. So let's connect this board over there. Uh, so you're showing some demos around here. Um, yeah, you can connect it right there. And uh, so actually you have graphics running on a Cortex M CPU? Yeah, absolutely. So you just connected and it's already on? Yeah, so you see that there are three examples of demos that we can do with the uh, STM32 F7. They are all uh, uh, graphic oriented, three different uh, flavors, three different partners. So, so who are you? Hi, I'm Stefan from IS2T. So uh, what is uh, IS2T? We are a software editor and we provide an embedded Java platform for uh, ST. So you have a, you made this? Yeah, we made this. This one? Yeah. And so what is this? Yeah, this is a uh, uh, demonstrator for uh, graphical stack. Uh, it's based on the Java technology. It's an embedded Java platform on this three uh, Cortex M7 device. So how can you do graphics on a Cortex M processor? How's, how does that work? How does that work? Uh, we got a stack. So the stack is um, just 2D and uh, graphics with transparency. And on this particular demo, uh, it shows a 32 bit stack. All right. Cool. And uh, there's, there's some other demos around here. Yeah. Hey, so hello. So who are you? I'm uh, Sebastian. I'm from Koro. Koro. Cool. Finnish based uh, user interface brand. So uh, what are you showing here? What's this demo? Uh, we're showing our stack running on the new uh, ST uh, M7. So it's, a, it's, it's 3D and it's uh, it's actually graphics. Yeah, we have different layers of uh, images uh, rendered at the same at the same time. So the Cortex M7 is interesting, right? Yeah, it uh, brings a new uh, hardware architecture and it's uh, more just more flexible to uh, address different memories like the RAM and the LCD. Cool. So it's much more efficient in terms of MIPS and uh, frequency compared to the uh, Cortex M4. And uh, there's, there's one more demo over here. Uh, yeah. Hey. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm so, fine. Uh, Thank you. Well, so what is this demo here? That's the uh, Touch TFX framework being demoed. And it's just a graphical application, application showing some of the things that we can do with the framework. All right. Uh, Cool. So uh, this is all the three three uh, D stuff, graphical features. Uh, was it possible to do uh, graphical stuff before with the Cortex M four stuff? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, how is it different now? The, the, the core, the core itself runs faster. That means you can process more data in less time, and uh, the architecture gives more uh, power and more frequency. That means you can go faster. You can address. Uh, bigger screen, VGA, 32-bit VGA display. Cool, let's go around just around here. There's a demo right here. What, did, yeah, what is going on here? We feature like a mini Android store, app store, running on a microcontroller. But is it real Android? What is this? No, no, this is a IS2T microchip software platform, so it's still embedded Java. And okay. it's exactly like you, you have the uh, Android store on your, on your cell phone, but you got the exact same product on a microcontroller. So uh, it's a gateway with an app store? Yeah, exactly. But and uh, all this stuff connected? Yeah, everything is connected. You got uh, Z-Wave communication from different suppliers. And even if it's not the same manufacturer, 
uh, you can get them to work together. And you can even control water nice. leak detection. So, so here, this is, this is a store. IS2T, you, you work in, yeah, involved yeah. with it? We, we provide a software platform for the Cortex M3, Cortex M7. And here, so this is actually the store I'm connected to, and I could pick an application. So this is a debugger application, I can install it. So this is downloaded, installed, and I can launch it. Let me see here, I see I got a Z-Wave controller connected on my board. And I've got Z-Wave control. If I push the button, it's light up. That's really simple. Yeah, I can also download the scenario. So this is a particular scenario. I'm gonna just shut the light off. Like this. I got a scenario where I can detect the door is opening. So if this, then that. Yeah. Exactly. And this is supported in there? Yeah, it's written in Java and it's running on ST microcontroller. And uh, this solution is brand new? Yeah, it, 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 we've been in partnership with uh, ST since uh, a couple of years. And, uh, no so this, this UI seems kind of smooth. Now how can it run on the Cortex-M7? Yeah, because we developed the Java virtual machine from scratch. It's our own internal property. And I can give an example. Maybe if you can shoot this, I can uninstall the scenario with the door. And uh, so here, if I do that, it does nothing. If I verify it does nothing. Okay, now I'm gonna install on my microcontroller store. I'm gonna install the scenario between the door opening detection and the lamp. Now it's installed. I'm gonna retry to open the door. And it's gonna light up. So uh, this is uh, pretty instant, fast, and smooth. Yeah, exactly. And you did the virtual machine. Yeah, the virtual How machine. How does it work? It's, it's, really it's based on open source. No, no, no. It's our own property of virtual machine. Um, it's optimized for microcontroller. I mean, the first prototype is working on, on an 8-bit microcontroller. And now this one is optimized for ARM Cortex M. Any ARM Cortex M architecture from Cortex M0, M0 Plus, M3, M4, the footprint of the Java virtual machine is 28 kilobytes of flash. So Cortex M, it's a very low cost footprint. 28 kilobytes of flash and one kilobyte of RAM. It's like less than a picture. Sorry, it's less than a JPEG. Yeah, exactly. Uh, a small JPEG. Okay. And, um, and so the, the Cortex M has all, has always been able to do basic uh, display stuff. It's just part of uh, what it can do. Yes, yeah, here <laughs> we run our uh, graphical uh, stack. We run the USB stack, Ethernet stack, and the store application. So is this kind of like a revolution yeah, for um, uh, the the future of the embedded world, yeah, or what? Yeah. Typically, you were used to develop in C code in, in the old way. Now you can use Java. Um, another benefit of Java is that you can run the entire uh, application on a simulator on your PC. That means you can, you, you do not need to wait anymore for the hardware to get ready to start developing your application. But the hardware is right there. But how soon can everybody have it? It's coming, right? Yeah, it's coming. This product, In the can, next can, few months. Yeah, visit is2t.com. You got a free version of MicroEJ, which is the name of our SDK to develop in Java for, for microcontroller. So how big is this going to be? It's going to be very big. And like okay, billions of devices yeah, connected on the App every, Store? Every uh, IoT devices, every device with connectivity could get uh, a store and get a software application of that. Nice. Is it, uh, is it just only for ST? No, we also support uh, all uh, ARM Cortex uh, suppliers. That means we have partnership with Freescale, Renesas, and uh, many others. All right, and you're based in, in France? We are based in France. We have office in Germany and the US as well. So you do a whole bunch of uh, stuff around the Cortex-M stuff, uh, yeah, not yeah. the Cortex-A? No, we do Cortex-A as well. Uh, the last product with Cortex-A9 from Renesas is the uh, RZ product that we support. Very nice product. It's a Cortex-A9 at uh, 400 MHz. But this is pretty uh, cool part, right? Yeah. Cortex-M7? Well, how big do you think that's going to be? Uh, that, that, that's going to be quite big because it's like a new bridge 
uh, between the old Cortex M4, which was uh, limited uh, for a very uh, high performance application where you needed high frequency and uh, a lot of MIPS to run. So Cortex M7 is a very nice bridge between the M4 and the first Cortex A5 from ARM. But it's not Android stuff, right? No, it's not Android. You can still run a microcontroller. There's no GPU. No. But you do stuff that kind of looks like a GPU. Exactly. So you, you buy a microcontroller, but you get the real application that, that looks like Android. You got the store, you got the UI, you got everything. And you, you write in Java. You benefit from the 9 million Java developer in the world compared to the 500k C developer you can have today. Is it so just Java? It's, 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 we can mix Java, C, C++. So we have libraries where you can develop in Java, and if you have legacy code in C or in C++, you can still keep it. And you can still do all, all that stuff with that? Sorry, sir? You can still do all the switching, the yeah. detecting sensors, everything? Yeah, exactly. So if you have a particular algorithm, low-level algorithm in C that you want to keep, you, you can keep it and you can call it from Java. And I'm going to introduce you, uh, Frank Bon, our uh, sales uh, commercials okay. in Hello. Germany. Welcome. So, what are you showing here? So, here we show uh, a device that is IoT enabled. Uh, it's a coffee machine. Often, uh, customers have a device, and from one day to another day, it needs to be an, um, IoT enabled. And we provide this with our solution. So, this is a uh, this is a ST Arm Cortex uh, M4, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, so we have extended uh, the coffee machine with this display and the board and um, what you can do is, uh, to show you the capabilities, uh, you can uh, load apps from the store, you can um, load some games, uh, weather or whatever, uh, to provide um, add-on value for your customers or services. So let's make a coffee in the first step. So when it's done the coffee, what happens? When the coffee is done, I get a notification on my uh, stopwatch yeah. uh, that the coffee is ready. This is the Cortex M7, uh, the F F7, ARM Cortex M7. Right, and here you see a notification, coffee is ready. So now I can take, a, take my coffee. And in addition, we post it on Twitter. Nice, you have a Twitter account that says the coffee is ready. The coffee is ready. And here you see some statistics, uh, how many coffees were taken, uh, how many hours. Here you see today 852 coffees. Isn't that amazing for one day? Nice. And uh, also the temperature of the uh, device. So we That's collect cool. data that uh, you can further use. That's a cool uh, implementation of uh, Internet of Things with ARM Cortex M7 uh, right here on Twitter.